Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create and design your own coloring book on Canva that you can sell later on on Etsy. As you know there is a lot of things that we can do to make money online right now and one of them is selling some printable stuff on Etsy. And for today I'm going to show you how you can create a coloring book design that you can sell on Etsy. So first let's take a look at what our competitors will look like. So we're going to go to Etsy and then type out coloring book on the searching bar and this is what it looks like. Most of the coloring books looks like it's aimed to be sold to adolescents or like young adult but they also have some children's coloring book and you can see the difference at the complexity of the pictures and you can definitely decide first what kind of coloring book you would like to make. Would you like the one with a very complex pictures or the one that is more simpler? You can definitely uh, decide which one you would like to make first before you create your design on Canva. You can also try to look for some inspiration by simply search for some coloring book templates and you can do that by entering coloring books at the search bar on Canva. And as you can see here, they're going to show you a variety of coloring book. You do have to pay attention to the one that have these kind of signs such as these currency symbols because it means that the elements that are used inside of these ones are actually paid. You will get watermarked if you do not use a paid account but you want to use some of the element from that one or this pro one if you see any crown symbols it means that that template consists of some paid elements and just like before if you want to use it you will end up getting a watermark on your design and we don't want that so you can take a look at this one maybe this one doesn't have any symbols on the bottom right of it and this one's called the black and white linear mandala coloring book worksheet it contains one pictures on each pages and if you like that kind of style you can also scroll around after you click on the templates and canva is going to show you some more templates that are very similar to the one that you have chosen and it's going to give you some more idea. Once you've decided what kind of coloring books you would like to make, you can just go ahead and click on create a design and then you can choose the size of your design from there. You can create a custom size or you can also choose whatever template size that you would like to make. For today, I'm just going to make a book with the size of eight by eight inches. To do that, you can just go ahead and enter your measurement. And if you're going to insert the measurement in inches, don't forget to change on the pixel part and change it to inches. And then you can just enter your size number. And this is the page that we're going to working with for today. As you can see, once you enter your design size, you can go ahead and zoom in by sliding on this bar over here or zoom out also with the same bar. And what we're going to do next is that we're going to click on these element menu over here and we're going to start and entering whatever pictures or whatever elements we want to put inside of our coloring books. For example, right here, I'm going to try and search for some butterfly. And when you are searching for certain elements, actually adding the word outline is going to help. But if you don't, if you just want to insert the name of the certain elements you want, you can just scroll around, you can just enter the keyword first and then you can scroll around until you find something like this. This picture is very coloring book friendly because it only has the outlines, it doesn't really have any other colors in it. And this one actually very suitable for young adult if you would like to create a coloring box that suits young adult or like adolescents or just adult in general, you can go ahead and insert pictures like this so here I'm just adding some butterfly elements and then I'm scrolling around to see if there are any other butterflies that looks like this that I can put inside of my design. Basically what you're going to do when you're trying to create your own coloring book is that you're going to insert some black and white element but make sure that it has a clear outline and it has some places that you can fill in. Don't use anything that is too simple because it's going to be boring and people will not be interested to buy the specific designs from you. 
since the first element that I've chosen here is butterfly, I'm going to add some more elements, which is some flowers, and then I'm going to arrange it. So my design will look like a bunch of butterfly playing in a flower field. So the first flower elements that I've chosen is these flowers that looks very good if I put it on the edges of my pages. So what I did is that I'm inserting it and then I am adjusting it to the edge of my pictures and to put it on the underside of my edges what I did is that I click on the element and then I click on flip so that I don't have to manually spin around or I don't have to find any elements to fit on the other edges. I can just use the exact same one but flip it so that it's going to fit perfectly on both sides of the edges. And then I'm adjusting it so that it looks like it is combined and then I'm just going to insert some more little flowers to make the flowers look fuller. Now the last elements that I'm going to insert into this coloring book is a cloud element. This one's a little bit tricky because there is a lot of cloud outline but it looks like it doesn't really match the art style that I've already gathered together. The one that matches my art actually have a pro symbol on it so I can't really use it with my free account but I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to scroll around and see if I can find anything that will look good with the rest of my design. Ended up choosing this cloud to be inserted into my design and as you can see, once you clicked on an element, Canva is going to give you some recommendation of the exact same art style element so that maybe you would like to find a certain element with a different shape, you can just use the recommendation that Canva gives you. And this is the final result of the first design for my coloring book. Now I'm going to show you another design that you can create. Let's say that this one is aimed for some young adults, some adolescents, like I've told you before. And now I'm going to try and show you how to create a design that is more suitable for children. As I've said before, coloring books for children tends to have simpler pictures on it. So first thing first, you will want to determine which kind of theme you're going to put inside of your coloring book. I am going to make the second page to have an animal theme on it so I'm just going to go ahead and try to search for some elephant element because I'm going to create an elephant coloring book. Sometimes you will have to try out two to three keywords until you will find the pictures that you're going to work with because the first keyword that I inserted into the searching bar was cute elephant and mostly the result that I got was colored elephant and sometimes you can change the color on the element but the element that I found for cute elephant was all very colorful and they don't really have any outline so it's very difficult for me to change the colors and make it black and white. So I ended up changing the keywords into just elephant outline and this tree is actually a very good example for what I was talking about earlier. I told you that some elements color can be changed and this tree came in outline and a color green as well as color brown and I can just change the colors into white and now and now I got the black and white tree. Another benefit that I can get from changing the colors from colored into black and white is that my element will not be see-through. As you can see this elephant element is see-through so if I put it on top of my tree it's going to show the outline of the tree but if I put the tree on top of anything it will not be see-through and it will not look bad on the design. So the key to create a good coloring book is just to arrange the elements and making sure that most of the elements have a similar art style so that all of them looks like they are one pictures instead of some random elements being put inside of one page. Obviously, you will be able to use a lot more of elements if you are using the paid account on Canva, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you that even with the free account, you can also create and design your own coloring book and it will look pretty decent and you can still sell it anyway. 
So I ended up adding a sun on the edge of my page and the last thing that I'm going to insert into my children's coloring book page is a grass outline and you can see here that most of the grass outlines are pro elements so there's no way once again that I can use it or the one that are not pro have colors in it so what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to create it manually by combining some free elements and creating a ground effect with it the first element that I'm going to use to create some ground effect is these grass. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it randomly and then play around with the positions. I'm flipping it so that it all doesn't look like they're growing into just one direction. And then I'm going to add these line right here and make it seems like the elephant is walking on some sort of mountain. And last but not least, for the finishing touch, I'm going to insert some clouds. And if you notice, the clouds that I've chosen for this one is very different with the first one that I've chosen because I want them to have different vibes and different feelings to it. And that is actually how you can create your own coloring box. And if you would like to see it side by side, you can just go ahead and click on this grid view over here. And once you're satisfied with your design you can go ahead and click on share scroll down and then you're going to find a download button once you download it you can also choose the file type that you would like to download it with and then you can also change the color profile and you can also choose whether you want to download the page all together or you just want to download whichever page let's say you want to download just the page two then you can just go ahead and click on page two if you want to download just the page one you can go ahead and click on just page one and that is how you can create and design coloring books on canva i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day